In this video for the Beach Bag Trio, I am going to show you how to finish your side seams. Now these um, side seams uh, completely cover your raw edges and at the same time they square off the bottom of the bag. So it's a neat little technique. You should have already sewn your center panel added your pockets if you want to, sewn on your side pieces, uh, sewn lines to delineate the bottom of the bag, and trimmed it according to the pattern directions. Now, although this bag doesn't, although the sample doesn't have the handle sewn on, you should also have sewn your handles on. Now keep in mind this is a much smaller version than what you're going to be working on, but for purposes of this video, it helps for you to be able to see the whole piece in uh, fairly closely. So this is the outside of your bag body. This is the inside of your bag body. They're all finished. Now the last thing to do is to sew your side seams and bind the top. So what you'll do to sew your side seams is fold it in half match the top edges of your bag and pin. Now they're fairly thick um, and they're going to get a little bit thicker but this is fairly easy to sew through because it's foam and it's mostly air. So you've sold that, sold, folded that in half and it should be folded right on that center line. Now you've got two lines that you stitched. Use those two lines, push the center line up, and fold that like this so that your, your, the bottom of the bag is actually folded up into the bag like that. So it looks like this. And the sides will look like that. I use these bigger clover clips to keep those in place. So the next step is you're going to bind the side edges using a typical two and a half inch binding which has been folded in half, uh, wrong sides together, and ironed. So this is the right side. So you're going to cut your binding about an inch longer than what you need. And you'll pin that on, wrap the excess around the bottom, and clip in place. So it looks like that. You've wrapped that bottom, the, the bottom piece. Now I always use the same fabric that I used for my inside side panels to do this because it, it just goes together. So the next step, in this uh, particular step, I did use a different color so that you might be able to see it better. Here's the binding. Um, you sew that binding on with a quarter of an inch seam, catching the piece that you've folded around to the back in your stitches. Now you'll be sewing through several layers at the bottom of the bag, but again, it's foam, just sew slowly as you sew down the bag. And I would start at the top and sew to the bottom. Now once you've got that sewn on, you'll pull that out. Like that. Flip it to the back. Tuck that little excess in. Fold it over. And pin. Pin in a couple places. And again, start stitching from the top and stitch all the way down to the bottom so that it's going to look like this right here. If you can see my stitching all the way down. 
that finishes your side seam. So I'm going to take one of our finished bags. Now notice how on this bag my binding matches my side panel fabric on both sides. That's been stitched. So you'll take your bag and turn it right side out. Poke the ends out so that they're nice and even and you've automatically squared off the side of your bag and you've done that on both sides. Make sure that triangle is nice and even so just keep poking out the edges until it's a nice and nice even triangle. Now what you've got left to do is to bind the top of the bag. Your handles have already been sewn on and as you sew the binding to the top of the bag fold your handles down so they're out of the way. Now I've already um, sewn the binding on the outside of this bag and I flipped it to the inside. Now you can hand sew that down or I just machine sew it. The very last thing is optional. See how stiff this handle is and how um, soft this one is? You can have your handles either way. You can either have them stiff or you can have them soft. When you made your handles you created a channel in your handles and you can slide plumbing tubing through that handle all the way around to the other side. Once it pokes out the other side, stick it down into that handle tab that you've sewn onto the bag. Continue to push this side as far as you can. and then just tuck that end down into the tab that's on this side and you will have stiffer handles. This step is optional and now your bag is all done.